Hello everyone. I have another very small shopping haul. I've been up to a place called um, Bridgefield Bargains. It's in Newburn in Newcastle. And it's like a, um, a warehouse type place and things are, you know, quite a lot cheaper than anywhere else. And my friend messaged me and I usually get my wool, the majestic wool from up there. Um, you can get it online, but there's not much left online. I don't know whether the place that makes it's going out of business or what, but it's very hard to come by and it's very good wool. I use quite a lot of it if I can get my hands on it. But they do advertise on Facebook every time, every so often. And the last time they advertised, there was nothing about wool. It was just food and stuff like that. But um, I thought, hey, it's only a... It's a, probably about a 40 minute driving from where I live because it's about 25, nearly 30 minutes up to where my friend lives and then another 10 minutes drive to Newburn from where she lives. So I thought, oh, here, I'll have a look and make her a few food things. So I did get one or two things. And first of these, mostly sweet stuff. That's what I, um, I bought. These are, you know, those meringue. Not meringue, not meringue, tea cakes. Tea cakes, I've never seen these for ages. I never thought about them actually, but uh, they were on offer for 50 pence. Yes, that was 50 pence, they were. And then these are for the kids. I just got these for the kids. There was three packets of M&Ms. Small packets, only 40. How much is it? 45 grams. So there's three packets. I bought three of these for the kids. They're normally 50 pence each, but there was 50 pence. I got three packets for a pound. So that's for the kids. And then these double decker chocolate bars. I'm not sure what's in these ones. Uh, I've just seen them. These. Um, They were 50 pence each, but reduced, so I got three for, three for a pound. I usually like to check the dates on them. Uh, that's usually because the dates nearly up on some of them. That's why you get some of them so cheap. Oh, but this one's up to June. June next year, so there's plenty of time on them. They weren't out, they wasn't out on them. So they were three for a pound. And then I saw all but a fudge. I love fudge. This was pound fifty, I think. I'll check my note. No, I've got nothing. Yes, pound fifty. I thought, oh, I'll treat myself. So that was pound fifty for the fudge. There's about 120, 120 grams in there. And biscuits. These are Macvities, Tasties or Macvities Nice, three call them the nice biscuits that I've got written on them. Um, I usually get these from Sainsbury's, but not the Macvities, I usually Sainsbury's and they're usually 55 pence. But these Sainsbury's are 200 grams, these are 250 grams. And like I'm saying, I pay, normally pay 55 pence in Sainsbury's, but these were 60 pence. But if you bought two packets of biscuits, you got two packets for a pound. So I bought a packet of big rolls as well. They were they're actually Morrison's. It's got Morrison's on the um, the packet. Um, they are normally 55 and Sainsbury's too. So I got two, two packets of biscuits for a pound. And this, the bayonet type, that's what I use for, um, it's a lead. It's equivalent to it's 15 watt, equivalent to 100 watt. And I do need a couple of spare ones of these. Um, I think one of them went a little while ago. I've only, and I'm not sure where I've got a spare left, actually. Like, I might have put it in when that one went. Because I put these in my living room. I like a lot, um, a, bit, a bigger light in my living room. And they did say £3. But when I picked it up and looked at the note here, it's only £2. So there was a pound reduced from that. And that's very good for these kind of bulbs for two pound. And then, as I say, I usually only go there if I'm looking for wool. And they didn't have wool advertised, but I had a good look around and this is what I found. 
the majestic 10 balls it was 10 pound for the pack so it's a pound a ball and this is double knitting this was all i had in double knitting there was this color and um, a maroon the rest was all they had a lot of other colors but they were all aran or double knitting um the aran was there was a uh, lemon pink red few other colors i couldn't see gray there was a few other colors i'm not sure but there's only this one and the, um, the maroon was in um, or burgundy, whatever you want to call it. It was in double knitting. We'll have a full pack of the um, the burgundy because I got that the last time, a couple of times ago that I was up there. So that was one pack of double knitting, 10 balls for £10, which is very good these days. And then the rest I had was chunky. So I thought, oh, I'll get 10 balls. I don't have any chunky. So I bought 10, ball, 10 balls of white. These are when I do those, um, I do some, um, what's called, yarn ball holders. The equivalent to those wooden ones, but I crochet them. And I usually crochet them with four strands of double knitting. And it is very hard to crochet with four strands of double knitting, actually. Um, so I thought, maybe if I get chunky, I can put two strands of chunky together. So I've got 10 balls of white chunky, pound a ball, and they're all 100 gram balls. And all it says is mixed fibre. It does tell you, it just tells you that um, the knitting needles, they have, I'm not sure, and see, six millimetre. This is six millimetre. It doesn't tell you, I wish they would tell you what the mixed fibres were because some I have got, which double knitting, um, certain colours, pink and lilac, I am sure is acrylic and either acrylic and polyester or acrylic and nylon because I can tell by the strands of the, um, the wool. And I did a test on it one time and you can tell when it, um, how it melts when you burn it. You can tell, you know, whether it's you know all acrylic and but i'm sure that it's either nylon or polyester so i'm not sure about this one because i've never had the double knitting before the um the chunky before i've only had double knitting or iron and then looking for other colors so i thought this one i can get two strands to make those make those yarn ball holders so i bought this as like um Caramel, I think this is like a caramel. It doesn't tell you the colour, it has a number. Another time it just sees mixed fibre. So I'm going to try the yarn ball holders in the, just the two strands of chunky. And if it works out okay, I might take another trip up and get some more chunky because I had a few colours in chunky as well. So that was just a little bit. Shopping that was very useful when I was because I do mourn when my friend asked me to pick her up because it is a long drive up to where she lives and then another 10 or 15 minutes and the car park in that place is terrible it's full of holes and <laughs> I parked my car where I thought nearest to the, um, the doors to the, uh, the shop and I made sure that there was wasn't really looking at my side but I made sure there wasn't a great big puddle because these holes were just full of water with all the rain we've had and I had to make sure you know there was my friend was going to get out of the car wasn't going to put her feet into a big puddle but when I opened the door for my side <laughs> I could have sunk into the water that was there and I had to stretch my leg really right across and I had to grab a hold of the, um, the door handle on the car that was parked on the other side to get out without putting my feet into this water because I think it would have covered my shoes it's about time they got that Park, car park put right in that place but anyway that was my little bit for today so thumbs up and subscribe and i'll catch you all another time another shopping haul so bye for now